STEM education is incredibly important because it's our future. Everything around us is STEM-based, medicine, technology, you know, all, all the issues that are going on in our world, like climate change and global warming and all those kinds of things. If we don't have a knowledge of STEM, we're never gonna figure out how to make it better. Everyone has to be able to be a part of the solution. STEM education, I think it's really important so you can understand everyday things. A little bit of education that will help you realize, again, how everyday things as the world becomes ever more technologically dependent. You can understand a little bit at least of how how these things work and they're not mysterious. STEM education is important because as we look at uh, sort of the development of, uh, of industry and careers in the United States, uh, so many of those jobs now involve some element of STEM. Having some element of STEM training is gonna benefit everyone, uh, regardless of the career path that they choose. Yeah, I think having a base knowledge, a basic knowledge of STEM fields, of the different sciences, that really helps us to develop our critical thinking skills, which is something, it doesn't matter what field you decide to go into, critical thinking is gonna be a part of that. There are a number of things I do currently to help bring STEM education into the K-12 schools in our area. Uh, in the past, I was much more directly involved with the work of the STEM Center Nowadays, uh, my involvement is limited um, almost entirely to the Animal Ambassadors program. We use live animals as a way to connect um, people in the community with STEM areas. Who doesn't get excited about a, a hedgehog or a lizard or a snake? I'm the faculty advisor for the Chem Club. We get called a lot, <laughs> from elementary schools especially to come to demos and things like that. This past year, the STEAM nights, a night where every single one of the elementary schools had a STEAM night. So all the, all the STEM fields, you know, would go and like do demos or the small short presentations for the kids. And those were really fun. I run the planetarium. We take it to a school. Each class has a half hour in there. So the planetarium is a big way we do that. Also the observatory, right? So we have all sorts of groups that come to the observatory, public nights. I think the observatory is a great way for the public to interact with science because you know, anybody can look at the stars. You don't need special equipment, you just look. But at the observatory, we, we can show them, hey, you know, those are the moons of Jupiter. Right? You can see the rings of Saturn. You can see the craters of the moon really, really well. So we help them experience science in the everyday. I think it's really important for the children of our community to be able to experience STEM in maybe different ways than they do in the classroom. And fortunately, uh, the SU STEM Center has provided a lot of opportunities where uh, professors and students from SUU can interact with those, those children and give them opportunities to learn about the different STEM fields. Uh, some of these are through the, the STEAM nights that are held in elementary schools. If students find that they're interested in STEM, there are a number of, of cool resources locally. One would be the STEM Center here on campus. Uh, which is kind of a, a central repository for STEM events and, and opportunities uh, here in the Cedar City area. So I think people should definitely um, reach out there. Our job as STEM educators is really to make STEM as accessible as possible for as many different types of people as possible. Students can find more about STEM opportunities by being involved, just asking, and just being a little curious and a little bit proactive students can learn a whole bunch. We're always willing to give information. So step one, talk to your parents, right? Bug your parents, because kids can't get themselves to the observatory, right? So bug your parents, um, but the school district has a person. Of course, our STEM center on campus has a ton of resources. Uh, students can come to us if they just want bite-sized bits of STEM. Our STEM center is great for kids. So if there are any K-12 students in our school district or our county or even anywhere, that are interested in learning more about STEM opportunities, or in my case about geology, um, they are always more than welcome to contact probably any of the professors here on campus from STEM fields, and I'm sure that all of us would be more than happy to interact with them and to help them have more opportunities.